Uh, hello, YouTube, back once again, and, uh, I decided to do another TV review tonight, and because I just saw the series premiere of the CW show, CW's new show, I Zombie, and, uh, yeah, so let's talk about it. Um, well, uh, I, Zo I Zombie, for those who don't know, uh, the premise is it's about, it's about, like, a 20-something-year-old name, uh, Liv Moore, who played by Rose McLeaver, McLeaver, one of the two, uh, who, who, after, after a, going to a party on a boat, and that's a, that's attacked, that's attacked by zombies, she becomes a zombie, but in a change of, in a very large change of pace for zombie shows, it, it uh, Nowadays, uh, instead of just be making this show about like mindless zombies and the apocalypse, no, in this, she becomes a zombie, but she learns she can keep. Sorry, my computer's really lagging. Um, she can keep uh, living basic, uh, basically a functional life and keep her right mind as long as she keeps consuming brains. So she was a doctor, so she just decides to go work at the morgue at the morgue in her um hospital, which is probably a, which is an easy place for her to get that and. Uh, so yeah, that's the premise, and uh, she also learns when she consumes brains that she can she can uh, see the person's past memories and thoughts, and and because of that, she starts helping the local detective, uh, one of the local detectives, out with cases, and yeah, that's the part of the show. And uh, so let's talk about it. Um, well, first, even the even if I didn't think the show was good, like on premiere, I would still, um, I would still, uh, you gotta commend this show to a certain degree. Like I said, with zombies just being everywhere nowadays, and it all always being about the apocalypse or an over-the-top spoof, like, and it's and the fact that it's always about survivors, it's kind of funny to see a show about just a zombie. That that, that that's a funny idea, and uh. And, uh, yeah, and the fact that, like I said, the fact that instead of going for, like, a dark brooding show that goes for, like, that this is a comedy for the most part, this is a very, this is, like, a kind of, like, a silly, funny comedy, and, yeah, so, guy commended, all the guy commended the show for doing that, um, so, that was good, and, uh, and uh, the uh, the the other major highlight of the show is uh, the lead performance of M Rose McLever, or McLeaver. Like I said, I don't remember, I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, she's really good as the lead. She is really funny and, <laughs> and just really dark and just really. She she definitely comes off as just the straight person in this situation. She just does a great job on that regard. She's just coming up as someone who like just sees this as just an annoyance above all above all else. Like, she's just annoyed about the fact she's a zombie and just doesn't want to deal with it. And, um, she's never, like, sad, she never really gets, like, into, like, sad, it's never, like, sad, depressing, like, when she just starts, like, bursting into tears about how, like, she must kill herself or something like that. No, she's just like, oh, God, this is, this is just annoying. She's just... And, uh, yeah, and she's all, she is a lot of fun as the lead. Uh, another highlight, uh, I don't know the, uh, I forgot to write down the actor's name, but the guy who plays her partner at the morgue, he is really funny. He is also really funny. He kind of comes off with this premise, I was wish, I wish there was a few more characters like this. He comes off as more kind of like a tip, uh, like a spoof of a, of, um, of, uh, what you would expect a, uh, expect, like, a, someone if there was a zombie apocalypse nowadays to act because uh because like basically when he learns that she's a zombie he's like uh i don't care like well he cares but he's never like oh my god zombie where's my shotgun no he's just like well yeah whatever let, let, let's test you out he's just like it's a zombie <laughs> and um and, uh, yeah, like, he's not afraid of zombies. Like, zombies aren't really that scary nowadays. And, uh, just oversaturation, what you gonna do? So, he's really funny and how just how... He's, he's more excited about the fact he's a zombie than anything else. And, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a lot of fun on that grounds. And, uh, and, uh, third, I think... Uh, even though I didn't find the detective that enjoyable, I love... I, I really love, um... I really loved watching, uh, Rose... Uh, Rose, uh I'm just calling her character. Uh, Liv just... Uh, live, uh, just trying to make up excuses of how, like, certain things happen, like, how she can, like, how she can, like, see people's thoughts and, like, how can she survive what would clearly be a uh, kill so, a uh, uh, living human being, uh, uh, living human, living human being, uh, without giving away she's a zombie, all that dialogue was, that was really funny for the most part, so, uh, yeah, uh, that's the goods, uh, things that don't really work are, um, one is uh the main thing being like all the side characters besides the besides the uh 
besides her partner at the morgue and to the detective, like I said, just because it comes out, comes, leaves with, gets funny dialogue out of this character, is all the other side characters kind of suck. Like, uh, uh, I'll give CW the method of the doubt because this is the first episode, there's only so much you can cram in, but all the other characters were kind of lame uh, for this. Like, but then again, this is the CW, and I, I love the CW, I love, I love Flash Slash the Arrow, I love Supernatural during its first five seasons, um, and, yeah, even though I like them, they haven't always had the easiest time when it comes to, like, making, <laughs> making, uh, making pot, making, the, the, their shows always got the growing pains. They, they, they need a little bit of time to get going before, uh, things get good. And, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll give the CW method the doubt. And, uh, as a quick side note, uh, another, uh, this, this, this show is inspired heavily by the comic about, uh, about the Vertigo DC comic of the same name. I have never read it. I have no plans to read it. Um, and, uh, so just, like, there's, like, this strange thing how, like, uh, like, anytime they, like, will come back on a commercial break, it, like, it will be, like, first drawn, like, a comic book panel, and then, like, the actors will start moving, so, yeah, that, 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 that's an interesting touch, and, uh, yeah, and that's all I really gotta say about it, and, um... So I'd say, uh, if you're sick to death by the zombie genre and you want to see something new done with it, uh, something completely different done with it, I'd say, sure, go watch it. Uh, not my favorite show, uh, I'll stick around for the next few episodes, uh, cause, cause CW, they like their, they like to set up their mysteries for a, se for a season, like, there's still the whole question, where, uh, are there more zombies in this world, where did those zombies come from, why did she become a zombie, because she wasn't bitten, like, or, they were hinting at it, it could have been, like, a drug that made her a zombie, but she, but she doesn't remember taking any, so, uh, who knows? Uh, but I may actually just stick around, just or may I'll just I may just stick around just to learn because I am actually kind of curious where the cell comes from. But anyway, that's my quick thoughts. If you want to go see, watch it, go watch it. And that's all I can say about this show. I'll see you next time, YouTube.